After the September 11 attacks, Dr. Sally Kitch, a professor at Arizona State University, felt as though she needed to do something to help in spite of all of the tragedy. Sally quickly realized that most Americans do not understand leadership positions or something that Afghan women can aspire to or that female leaders even exist there. Most of what had been portrayed in the media after the 9-11 attacks were burqa-clad, silent women. After a lifetime of work in the field of women's studies, she turned her attention to a group of women whose voice needed to be heard, women leaders in Afghanistan. Sally listened to the voices of many Afghan women leaders, changing the way women participate in Afghanistan society. Sally wrote a book collecting their experiences and recommendations on what the future of Afghanistan could look like. Two women activists in particular, Jamila Afghani and Marzia Basil, taught Sally that leadership is an important part of women's lives in Afghanistan, whether in their villages, families, or in the public arena. While the number of women leaders needs to increase, there are women like Jamila and Marzia who lead through their work in women's education, protection, and activism. Recently, Jamila, founder of the Noor Educational Center in Western Kabul, sat down with Ambassador Volker, Executive Director of the McCain Institute, to give some insights to the challenges she faces as a women leader in Afghanistan. We start our work from literacy and now we are working on the issue of domestic violence, child marriage and other issues. So it is because of the need of our society that uh, the need of society is very vast, the challenges are very vast. Also features in Sally's book is Marzia, founder and director of Afghanistan Progressive Law Organization, who could not join the interview but wanted to share some of her thoughts on the state of women leaders in Afghanistan. Uh, it is not easy to be a woman leader uh, in a country which 70, 70 or 75 percent of the people are illiterate and they cannot differentiate uh, right and wrong. Uh, to be a woman leader in Afghanistan, it is um, a huge challenge. This challenge can come from the political part, it comes from the cultural aspects, it comes from the uh, public also. Marzia also gave insights to the future of Afghanistan, including her concerns about the security of her country. The future of Afghanistan, uh, there is no doubt that uh, Afghanistan uh, political and economical situation is uh, getting worse day by day. Um, Afghanistan situation is uh, currently a fragile and uncertain, and uncertain as well as bleak. Um, uh, especially the situation got worse while the international uh, community left Afghanistan, uh, the international forces left Afghanistan in 2014. And now Afghanistan is a, a, a village that I can call it, uh, that is uh, um, targeted by different um, uh, insurgents uh, such as Taliban and also the expansion of the power to learn more about the stories of Jamila and Marzia and the future of Afghan women leaders, read Contested Terrain by Dr. Sally Kitch.